Before we start this restoration, I know I asked last time what car to store the E-Type Jack or the Saladin tank and the E-Type Jack won by a landslide, but during the restoration I actually broke the windshield and the new one hasn't arrived yet, so that's why this week I'm doing the tank and next week I will be doing the E-Type Jack. Enjoy the video! Well hello guys, my name is Nick from Nick's Toy Garage and in today's episode we are doing a restoration on this Corgi Toys Saladin armored car from I think it's around the 70s or 80s. If you have any information that, that I don't know, please let me know in the comment section down below. So let's take a look at this a beautiful armored car, it's missing the... Um, the turret extension, there's supposed to be a uh, extension on the gun itself. I think it's actually sh shootable, not really sure. But there it is, it's green, it's missing some paint, it has some faded stickers. It's actually a wheeled vehicle, not a tracked vehicle. It has a little bit of a bent front, but the turret actually spins around and the guns... The gun, excuse me, actually goes up and down, which is quite lovely. So as you can see, it has some Phillip head screws, I think it's called Phillip head. Don't speak the language, so I don't really know. So I don't actually need my drill for this one. He's gonna be pissed for it. So, uh, worker Nick, the, put the put the drill away. No, you like you like the drill, but just put it away. Yeah, thank you. No, also no, don't hand the dandy handy dandy screwdriver. It's the little brother. Uh, uh, Big Philip. Big Philip uh, is actually opening the uh, button right now. It has two screws on the. Uh, on the bottom of the vehicle, unscrewing them just releases the bottom and the uh, three axles with the six wheels and a plastic spring. The spring itself has been held in by two rivets, so these need to be drilled out later. Next I have two more screws just to hold in the uh, turning mechanism of the turret itself. So quickly remove these uh, two screws. And when these are out, the turret just is left behind. After that, we have another plastic piece that holds in the actual gun with a spring. So I really think it's a shootable gun. Not really sure how, but so if you know, if you know, let me know in the comment section down below. And I think this is supposed to be the pullback mechanism. Not really sure. Don't know them all. Next, we take well, finally take my drill and drill out the rivets do that hold in the plastic spring. One in the front and one in the uh, back. After that, it's done. I actually, try to take off the wheels from the uh, the, the tires from the wheels, but uh, as you can see, they're quite stuck on. I st I do keep trying, the like the idiot I am, but after this clip, I actually put them in some hot piping hot water uh, that would soften up the rubber and it just came right off. See, he's still trying. He, I can say whatever I want, but he's still trying. Look at him. Cutting off his fingers. That, that actually really... I, I don't know, but it's worker Nick. I'm editor Nick. But that really hurt. Yes. So, hot water and they just come right off. Next, I take my handy dandy screwdriver, finally, I know you guys missed. I, I, I actually think you guys uh, like the handy dandy screwdriver more than you like me. I think I should make some t-shirts of the handy dandy screwdriver. Hmm. That's some merch ideas. Oh well, next we have the spring off and we actually took my little tiny drill bit and drilled out those rivets. Why? Because I need to screw them back together when it's all set and done. Next, for the most satisfying step of my restorations, well, I personally think, not from other rest restorers because they are a lot better than me, it's my sand blasting cabinet. It takes me literally seconds to take off the paint. And don't worry, it's not in the highest setting, it's only a couple bars, so I don't actually damage the fine details on these models. So we have the uh, tank body itself. I actually sped everything up because this takes, there were a lot of parts, this takes a while. We have the turret and the base uh, plate itself. So opening it uh, back up and uh, looking at the result. There we go. <laughs> Dusty. <laughs> Next we have the remainder part is the wheels, obviously. Three sets of wheels, dropping them between the grid, obviously. Taking uh, them out, they look amazing, the other two are actually fell through. And last but not least we have the gun and pull back chingy. 
Next, we're going to take off the uh, stickers. Again, the sand blaster is not on the highest setting, so stickers don't really come off. But oh well, I have my handy dandy screwdriver for that, just to take off those remaining stickers. And as you can see, the base in the front, well, the front uh, thingamajig is a little bit bent. So I take my... I also always forget the name, it's not tweezers, it's that thing. And I actually, vice grip? Is it a vice? No, it's not a vice grip. I just bend it back into place and take my sanding paper to, uh, well, I made a little bit of scratching with the uh, screwdriver, so just to fix the scratches. Next primer, I'm using Fine Surface Primer by Tamiya in grey. Leaving 30 to well, 40 minutes to dry between coats. And the final coats get 24 hours to dry. For green, for, for the color I use green. TS2, it's kind of a dark army green. There are a lot of greens to choose from, but this was my personal favorite. Now that I have your attention, I don't really like asking for it. But I have made a Patreon. Link is in the description down below. Making videos is kind of expensive. If you want to support the channel, you don't have to. But if you want to, please uh, uh, click the link in the description down below to go to my Patreon. So that's the uh, the uh, little uh, commercial over. Next, let's go back to the video. We have the wheels and tires. Not the tires, the wheels and axles. And actually, there's a little bit of glass because the sand blaster uses glass. Uh, stuck between the wheels and tires. So we have just have to uh, clear them up. And one of the axles is bent. I think it's the site where the impact hit. I'm guessing a child hit a wall with uh, well, about a million miles per hour. The usual stuff, obviously. Then the remainder parts, the wheels, axles, the gun, the uh, pullback thingy, I think. And the turret go into primer. And obviously then they go into their proper TS2 Tamiya green. There we go. That was the turret. And again, for this coat, for this uh, color also, leaving between 30 to, well, 40 minutes for the first coat and 24 hours for the final coat to harden out. Next, we have the fine details. Well, they're not much on a tank, so I just decided to put some um, well, kind of headlights in the front with the white and some rear lights in the back with the red. No, a tank doesn't really have rear lights, I think. I'm not really sure, but mine has. Next, I take my black marker just to add a little bit more detail because, well, I know it's a tank. It, it's supposed to be camouflaged, but I want some color on this. No, black isn't the color, but oh well. So I painted the little vents on the back, the jerry cam, the shovel. Just the handles. Well, a couple things just to break up the uh, big piece of a green on this car. When that is a dry, I take my clear coat. Again, do one big coat in total. Again, 24 hours to harden out so I can take the model and don't leave my uh, dirty fingerprints everywhere. This is what I really love to see. All the parts lying next to each other, ready to be assembled again. So we have the turret, the gun, the pullback me me mechanism, and then the plastic piece. Not sure how this went in. So I um, actually had to uh, watch back my own video. That's my ego, obviously. Um, it wasn't uploaded yet, otherwise I would like my own video. So, well, while I'm uh, seamlessly going to this, uh, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And that was seamless. So we have the turret going back into place with a plastic piece that actually uh, allows the turret to spin and the two Philip head screws, the little ones to go back into place. Also make sure to uh, realign the turret so it doesn't scratch off the paint from the model itself. Uh, if it did that I would have would have cried. I had that happen before. I was in final assembly and the paint just went away. Yeah, I hate when that happens. Next, well, the, still screwing those things in. Just like that. So that goes off to the sides. As you can see, it spins around freely. I love it. So put that. Stop playing, Nick. Put it to the side. Put it, Nick. I think he is not listening anymore. Oh, there we go, finally. Next, the wheels and tires go back on. Again, I forgot that I put them in hot water. It's been days since it's been taken apart. So, um, at this point, I'm still breaking my fingers, cutting them actually open, which is quite fun. And the next scene, I'm actually um, putting them in some piping hot water. And just they, they just slid right there. Yeah, that hurts, eh? They just slid right on. Next, I take the base, put the wheels and axles back into place. 
and then refit the plastic spring trying to remember how it went together but there were some little legs pointing downwards so that's probably the way it's supposed to go then it luckily just snaps into place just like that and last but not least I take my little uh, my little uh, allen key and my screws that you cannot literally cannot see on camera they are that small they're kind of self tapping screws I did tap the hole off camera but these are can be used as self tapping screws I don't because I I'm, I'm an idiot and I break stuff so just screwing them into place so the um, spring doesn't really come out because this is a model to sit on my shelf but I know in the future a kid might play with it and if they start playing with it the spring would just implode and that wouldn't be fun for anybody will it Next I reattach the uh, top of the tank with the bottom of the tank so it can actually be a complete unit again. Putting in the Philip head screws and letting big Philip uh, screw everything back together now. I'm actually thinking, is this the same screwdriver? Oh, I think I, I think I sheeted on big Phil. Oh, there's a different screwdriver I think. Ah, nobody will notice. So shh, don't put it in the comments. So this is everything for this restoration, putting the final touches on it. So let's take a look at it before the restoration right here. It was still a lighter shade of green, missing paint, bent pieces of metal and just, well, not good. And right now it's dark green, it's painted, it has details and I love it. So thank you very much for watching, please leave a like. Subscribe, I hope to see you in the next video and like always a very special thanks to every single one of my Patreons. Thank you for watching, bye.